Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Singura YouTube channel. Big thank you to those who are really supporting this channel. May God bless you so much. Kaka, when you look at the political landscape in Kenya, especially in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, in my previous videos, I told you that these guys will begin to fight amongst themselves. So many people castigated me and said, Kaka, oh, we see Rikadi and Ruta together. Oh, we see Rikadi and Gashawa. We see Rikadi and, uh, and Sakaja together. We see. I told you, no. Things are not right in the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And if you are keen, if you are a keen uh, observer, you can realize that yes, indeed, there is trouble in paradise. One, Rigadi and Sakaja are not reading from the same script. Rigadi and Kindiki are not eating from the same plate. Rigadi and Moses Kuria are not drinking from the same pot. If you are bright in politics, if you use a third eye, as I always tell you, you can easily notice there is a big problem and the shower seems to be isolated from the Kenya Kwanzaa family. He does things like an orphan. He has no support from the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders. I have seen that happening. Let me give you two examples. One example, recently when Gashawa toured Nairobi, Sakaja is the area governor and of course the host. People were lining up to welcome Gashawa including Sakaja. We saw a video clip. I think you saw that. If you haven't seen it, I'll look for it one day. I play for you. Gashawa shook hands with other leaders who were lining up. On reaching at Sakaja, he ignored Sakaja and walked away. That itself is a clear indication that Gashawa and Sakaja are not in terms. They are not. Another scenario happened today. We know some sources are saying Rigadi and Mythical Inturi are conspiring to lure the Meru MCS to impeach Kawira Mwangaza. It's a word on the street. Though not confirmed, but it's a word on the streets. Now yesterday, Gashawa was in Meru and he played innocent. He played an angel by asking the religious leaders in Meru to bring together MCS, Senator, Governor, and the government rep together and find a long-lasting solution for Meru. And Gashawa said, there is no development in Meru right now because there is war between the MCS and the Governor. Until they have launched a second impeachment. You know, there was the first impeachment. It was quashed by the Senate. So this is another one. But people are saying, Gashawa could be in the picture. Now, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a keen follower, who between this is going to win this war? Today, Moses Kuria, the trade CS, 
was supposed to be in Meru today, which he was, but he had made a tweet, and I want to read for you, he had made a post. Moses Kuria had made a post saying, uh, I don't know if I'll get it. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I will get it. I think he made a post on Facebook. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it. And he said, just to quote it before I officially read for you. He said, "I have received calls from quarters within Kenya Kwanza and from Meru." To postpone my tour to Meru, kupelekea watu wa Meru development. And Moses Kuria was very categorical. He said, after doing some, my own consultation and uh, some research, I am going there today. I am trying to find that post. Moses Courier. Yes, it's here. I have gotten the tweet. This is what he said uh, before he arrived in Meru. I have launched county aggregation and industrial parks in Busia, Kakamega, Bungoma, Transnzoia, Migori, Siaya, Kisi, Nyamira, Mombasa, Kajiado, Narok, and Laikipia counties. That was yesterday. Tomorrow, which is today, I ground break in the Great Meru County. I have received requests from my colleague, Medika Linturi and the Meru leadership to postpone due to the prevailing political situation in Meru. The joblessness and poverty facing our people cannot wait even one hour as we fix our broken politics. You heard that statement? That statement makes a lot of sense. One, Moses Kuria is showing a middle finger to the deputy president regarding a shower. Number two, Moses Kuria is sending a message to Mithika Linturi that not even your fights with some senior officers in the Kenya Kwanza will deter me from giving the people of Meru what is rightful to them. Number three. Moses Kuria is sending a message to Kenyans that yes, I am not at all answerable to regard the Gashawa. Because if he was, he could have postponed. But because he is not, he made it sure that today he traveled to Meru. Right? Hey, Kenya Kwanza. Now, Kuria made a tweet today. The joblessness and poverty facing our people cannot wait for us to fix our broken politics. Where the broken politics? The broken politics in Meru. That's what he's saying. You know, Yesterday, Gashawa said, let's wait fast and fix. Let's fast wait and unite the people of Meru. When I'm speech speech regarding Jana, he was very categorical. We want fast to unite the people of Meru. Moses Kuria is saying, we can't wait even a second. <gasps> We can't wait. 
launch of the 13th County Aggregation and Industrial Park in Meru County. In line with our bottom-up economics transformative agenda, better, of promoting production and value addition for local products. I have this afternoon launched the 13th County Aggregation and Industrial Park at Ruiru, Ruarera Ward, Meru County. Kawira Mwangaza yuko hapo. Smiling with Moses Square. Wako hapo. Smiling. Smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. The fight that is cooking in Kenya Kwanza is anatomic. It is the third world war. And the day it will erupt, not even William Ruto will help it. Wale muko na macho, hamuambi mitazama. Na wale muko na masikio na macho, mumeona. Kaka want to say this. Today, I was forced to travel. Usiku wa leo, tunyamira county. Kuna mwanafunzi ambaye, has never seen his father. I've never seen his mother. Alileto wakiwa mtoto mchanga, haka wachwa kwa the grandmother. So he has never seen the mother. He has never seen the father. The grandmother doesn't know where the mother is. The grandmother doesn't know where the father is. Both of them just disappeared. So that boy is equally an orphan. This boy scored 271 marks from a primary school. He joined a day school, Kesiaga, and scored a C+. Plus. He was admitted to Kiss University, but since then, he has never joined to date. Why? Lack of shopping, lack of hostel cash, lack of school fees. I took my little cash today. Nikampeleka Kiss University. Tukafanya process ya admission, tukamaliza kila kitu. Nikasema, andika you are an orphan. The school told him, go back home, prepare, come, begin classes because your colleagues are learning. So, sai, tunasaka mahali anaweza akaishi. Tumpatie kanyumba kadogo kwa sababu hostel zimeisha. Tumtafutie kanyumba, tumulipia hata miezi kumi. Nyumba hata ya elifu tatu. Miezi kumi ni, ni 30,000. Tumulie kagas. Unga na kasufuria. Aanze maisha ya class. Meanwhile, as we seek for other solutions ya kumulipia school fees. If you can help me tonight to make that boy happy, kwa sababu, uyu akiachwa, hawa ndiyo wanakuanga majambazi, kwa sababu you find they have lost, there is nothing as deadly as a clever boy or a girl who has lost hope in life. He will be a deadly person. Uyu atamariza kijijijote. Atakua jambazi sugu. So want to rescue this young boy to mpeleke shula fanyu admission and the rest will follow. If God can touch you to support me in this course, you can send your 1,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000. We rescued, nili wacha kida nilikuwa nafanya usiku ni kaenda. Nilifika uko kitu sa kumina mili unusu na nimetoka pala a few minutes ago ndio nikaingia hewani hapa. So help me, huyu jamaa toke njukwa nyumba, aende shule, Aanze masomo because other kids are already in school. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.